This is our returning champion, Jason Myers from New Orleans, Louisiana. Stand by as he tries to add to his winnings of $22,532. Today, one of these players can win a large screen television, a pool table, elegant jewelry, or a fabulous dream vacation, and continue a journey toward cash and prices, including a brand new car and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000 up for grabs today on Sale of the Century. And now, here's your host, Star Sale of the Century, Brandon Scruggs. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into another edition of Sale of the Century. Glad to have you with us once again. Our returning champion is back with us once again, and he's trying to see if he can add to his winnings here. Please welcome back, Jason Myers. Where's that? Glad to have you back here, Jason. Uh... Nice total so far, over $22,000 in cash and prizes, plus a couple prizes off the uh, winner's board there. You've picked up a the microwave oven and the trip to Ireland so far, but you're, you've are you got another shot at the uh, winning a lot today. You ready to go? Okay. Yeah, let's see if I could get the trip to Disney World this time. <laughs> well, you, you had a chance to kick, take it home both shows so far. We'll, we'll see if you decide to keep it today. When things That's come the up. first thing I reveal again. I swear this thing is rigged. Oh it's, <laughs> it's all sh all the prizes get shuffled every week by uh, standards and practices, so I have no idea where they're at. We just we all find out together at the same time. But it, it would be very, very funny if you managed to match them again this week. We'll right. see how we'll see. Yeah, there. But you got to get to the winner's board first, and you've got some tough competition fighting against you here on this episode. So let's meet our challengers here for Jason. Starting with Mr. Nelson Ezrod. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Glad to have you here with us. Yeah. Folks, a little bit home about yourself, sir. Uh, let's see. I'm a cashier at Target. I like to bowl. I'm a bull of a Cedric. I'm going to split up on Jason and win the game. Let's go. And try not to get struck down in the process. Gotcha. That's true, yes. Yeah, see, well, welcome to the show. Good luck to you. Thank you. And, and joining you is another challenger, uh, Mr. Cedric Weatherspoon. Howdy ho. Glad to have you aboard, sir. Tell us about you. Well, I currently serve in the National Guard for almost eight years, and I sell life insurance on the side. And no snows run. You about to bowl yourself over some gutter balls after I'm through with you and Jason. <laughs> You're the best man in for Louisiana. Thank you and good night. And the ch the challenge in the room has already built to a fever pitch. I'm excited to see how this game plays out here. <laughs> All right, good luck to all three of you. Let's go ahead and get our game started here by giving you each 20 bucks in your bank to start. Of course, you know, got questions for you. Each one you get right to five dollars. Each one you miss costs you five. Along the way, you'll have a chance to purchase some instant bargains, a chance at our fame game board, and one of you has a chance to take home some instant cash today, which I believe the jackpot stands at five thousand dollars for that one. So, be okay. interesting to see how that works out for you. Uh, good luck to you, and let us get started here with our first question here on sale of the century. The Windy City is the nickname of what? Chase. Ah, son of Chicago. What U.S. city? Chicago, of course. The oh, dancer. motherfucker. Fast five dollars to you after 25. The Vietnam War officially ended the 15th of January 1973 when President Nixon announced the suspension of action against North Vietnam. Where were the peace accords negotiated? Was it Madrid, London, or Paris? Nels. London? No. Sign of Paris, oh. sir. There's the Paris Agreement there, so you lose five there, drop okay. it down to 15. All right, players, complete the following quotation from Benjamin Franklin. In this world, nothing can be said to be certain except... Jason? Death and taxes. That is the quotation we needed. There you go, five dollars. Oh, son of a biscuit. biscuit. All right, players, Operation Desert Storm was the code name for what U.S. military... Jason? The Iraqi War. U.S. military action in 1991. Iraqi War, you're right. You're up to 35. So, I thought you should have known that. To be fair, though, I didn't hear the full thing because Jason buzzed in all the way through. So, yeah. yeah. 
We could have any war. All right. <laughs> complete complete the following quotation from Romeo. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet. Nelson. Dang it! Sorrow. Sorrow's right there. You're up to 20. And with that said, it's time for our first instant bargain of the day. Remember, the player in the league gets a chance to buy bargain price merchandise. A sales surprise with a cash bonus can pop up at any time. Jason, you have a $15 lead over both Nails and Cedric. Hey, I can interest you in spending some of that money for this. Jason, how would you like a brand new diamond ring? <laughs> diamond ring, no more valued at $2,000, but today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $7. Brand new diamond ring there. Again, two thousand dollars in value. Cost you seven bucks. If you bought it, you'd still have a lead, but your lead would be dropped to eight dollars. Take it. Take it. I don't see you reaching for the buzzer. Oh, so I'll let the, the thing is that my birthstone is a diamond, that, but I don't own a single diamond. Diamond. Well, period. Here, well, perfect. Here's your opportunity to capture your birthstone <laughs> oh, right it. here. And I'll tell you what, I'll even do you one better. I will drop the price of that down to six dollars, and I will give you an additional five hundred dollars in cash to really get some put, get some extra gold or silver, or whatever you want, and add it to the ring. Twenty five hundred dollar deal. Cost you six bucks. Buzzing if you want it. Going once. He's gonna oh, buy. There, go. there we go. Well done for you. Take that $6 off your prize. Enjoy that diamond ring there. Jason drops down to 29 Nails and Cedric both at 20 And we continue on with this next question for five. In its uncultivated form, brassica or aica is a wild cabbage. What other vegetables apart from cabbage has brassica or aica been used to cultivate? <laughs> nope. Nope. You're speaking right. Greek over there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been used to cultivate uh, vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, or cauliflower, and kale. Oh. So, oh, I yeah, accepted okay. any of those there. All right, so no, no harm, no foul. We move on to another one. Joey Chestnut is the famous eater of what famous contest? Uh, Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest. That is correct. You $5 right back there, up to 34 Damn you. Cornish Pepper, Red Dragon, and Stinking Bishop are all unusual names for what kind of dairy product? Jason again. Cheese. Cheese is the correct answer. Well done. Oh, mother. Oh, my God. $5 there. Up to 39 there. I didn't think it was obvious. Oh. I'm just laughing at the thought of a stinking bishop cheese. Like, I don't even want to know what, who in the hell came up with that one. Let's that, keep it that way. Yeah, it's I, a famous I, type I of English butter. cheese, actually. I, no wonder. Okay. That explains okay. so damn much. Right? Yeah. Well, so that's why the English have brought rotten teeth. Okay. Right. Something to that nature. <laughs> but with that sound, mean players, it's now time Christ. for our first fame game of the day. Remember, we're not playing for cash on this one. We're playing for a pick of our fame game board, where we have cash and prizes, but most importantly, those money cards on the board. We start, as always, with a $10 money card up there as we look for this famous place. Famous place, buzz in when you think you know it. I am right. an island country. I'm composed of two major islands. Most of my people here speak English. I have many more sheep than natural people. Oh, Jason. Fudge. New Zealand. On very limited information, New Zealand is the correct answer. You well done. <laughs> I was like, he knows. God How dang it. I can't. How the fuck did you know? It's yeah. Jason New Zealand has mice. two islands, a North Island and a South Island. Yep, and sheep. Yeah. Sheep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people there are native of Maori. The capital is Wellington. And their people there are named Kiwis. There. Yep. Yeah. That's New Zealand. Yeah, All right. that's, yeah, sure enough, Cedric, that's New Zealand, too. Yep. God damn it. All right. Wait, wait for it. He's going to get a $10 money card. The way oh, his yeah. going to go. <laughs> well, in the room. well, we <laughs> shall see if he can. Uh, of course, we got the $10 money card up there, along with some cash prizes, some other surprises up there as well. Jason, pick a number for me. Three. <laughs> Starting off with his beloved tree, and behind number three, we have $5 money card. 
I was half right. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We had that $5 to your score, Jason, up to $44 there. Off to a big lead here. We're going to we're gonna give everybody some of those stinking cheeses during our commercial <laughs> break. And we'll be back with more Sale of the Century right after this. Stay with us. Get the air for Century here. Good game going on between our players. Jason and Lee with 44. Nels and Cedric both with 20. We continue on with this question for five. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. This comes from the Declaration of Independence in 1776. But who wrote the first draft of that document? Nels? Uh, Thomas Jefferson? Uh, right? There you go. <laughs> How the <laughs> fuck? I had two names. I had John Hancock or Thomas Jefferson. I went. You, yeah, you did. All right. Well, good job. Now you're on the yes. board. You got 25 there. We'll continue on with this. What covers approximately 71 percent of the surface of the Earth? God. Water. Water is correct. There you go. Up to 49 for you. Surprise! Oh, surprise! Surprise! The game Just Dance was first made available for what game console? Cedric? The Wii? Wii is correct. There you go. Cross on the board up to 25. <laughs> Hallelujah. Players, the city of Chicago, we talked about it earlier, is famous for what type of pizza? Ah, pizza. you deep dish. Deep dish mm -hmm. is right. There you go. Up to 54 for you. Uh, personal oh, knowledge of And I with that bell, what, give me it's time for another instant bargain. Jason, you have a little bit bigger lead this time. You have a lead of $29 over into both Nails and Cedric, and maybe I can interest you in spending some of that cash on this. You won't. That's it, right? Jason, how would you like a 65-inch LED oh, TV? Go right ahead. Normally priced at $2,600, but yours today in Sales Century for just $9. Well then. Nine bucks for a 65-inch LED television, sir. Do you need a new TV? Yeah. Yeah, he does. does. <laughs> he, without any hesitation, he buys. Well done, he's sir. Up at 20 and there's a bucks. surprise oh, with it. <laughs> and to go with that TV, you've won yourself $1,600 in cash. Well done. The rich get richer. Well, well done, Jason. Now with the prizes he's purchased so far on this episode alone, total now hovering around the twenty-eight thousand dollar mark. Now with everything you've got here, well, oh, surprise, on. surprise! All right, getting close to thirty thousand. We're gonna knock that nine dollars off your score there, Jason. Down to forty-five. Nails and Cedric both with twenty-five. We'll continue with this next question here for five. Which album by Katy Perry, initially released in 2010, included the U.S. number one singles California Girls, Teenage Dream, Firework, E.T., and Last Friday Night? Nels. I Kiss a Girl? No. That was the song. That was the song from her previous album. The album name in this question was Teenage Dream. Teenage oh. Dream is what was the name of the album there. Uh, cost you five there. You dropped back to 20 now. A rough paste of ground corn, originally a Native American food, but now commonly eating in the southern United States at breakfast time, is known as what? Jason? Oh, fudge. Grits. Grits is yeah, right. Grits. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should have got that. Yeah, I should have got that, but Jason beat me to the punch. <laughs> as go. always. No problem there. Up to 50 for Jason. In 2009, the Guinness World Records named which American singer as the female performer who has won the most music awards? Stop. Taylor Swift? No. Oh, Taylor, Swift. Yeah. Taylor Swift wasn't even a rap making music in 2009 yet, I don't believe. Uh, I know. Correct answer there was Whitney Houston. Oh, Whitney yeah. Whitney Houston there is what it was. What were you thinking, brother? That's Shut right. up, okay? No, no harm, no foul. We'll continue on with this Ugh. next fame game question. Nails can put yourself right back into it. We have a $10 money card on the board. We're now adding a $15 money card as well this time as we look for a famous thing. Famous thing, buzz in when you think you know it. I right. am an enigmatic wonder. I'm very colorful. Many songs have been written about me. And Cedric. I say rainbow. I know I'm wrong. 
Well, you're wrong about being wrong, because you're right. Say what? <laughs> Off of very little information, too. Well done, sir. Yeah, Kermit wonders what's on the other side of me. Children like to draw me. My initials are well known. I'm usually seen after a storm or downpour, and I have seven colors in me. So well done, Cedric. Off of an answer you think you got wrong, but you're right, and it pays off as with a pick of the fame game board. What number would you like? Oh, let's, let's go for a circle. If I find a $15 money car behind number seven, I'll be in shock. Let's see what happens. Behind number seven, we find $10 <laughs> money car. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not the 15 he wanted, but it's at least a money card nonetheless. So we'll add that to your score, bringing you up to 35 now. Nell's with 15. Jason's still in the lead with 50. We continue on with this next question for five players. All right, in the classic musical scale, what note comes after so fa? Jason? Do I mean if I saw la ti do? What was the answer? Oh. La. No. Oh. Oh. Note no, no, the order I said it in so far. We needed, we needed me. You said, ah, you said it. You went, you went backwards. Back. Damn. I was going. Yeah, wait, hold on. Something, Something ain't right. <laughs> so Jason He's unfortunately takes once. a step back there, drops down to 45. We continue on. Yes, with Nels, I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we continue on with this next one. In the legend of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, which knight fell in love with King Arthur's wife, Queen Guinevere? I don't know. It's this is between two people. I'm not taking a guess. Time we were it's looking like... for uh, Sir Lancelot. Sir Lancelot Damn it! the answer. It was the Gawain or Lancelot. Oh, all right. No harm, no foul. We continue on with another question here. All right, players. In the in the movie The Jungle Book, what kind of animal was Shere Khan? Cedric. He is a tiger. And that is the correct answer. There, up to forty. So with it, five of Jason here. Good game. What is the last name of the famous composer Wolfgang? Die! You. Mozart. Mozart is correct. There you go. Son of a bitch! Uh, and with that, sound means and it is time for our instant cash round. The player in the league gets a chance to play for instant cash. Jason, with a $10 lead over Cedric, you have a chance to play for our instant cash prize today. Two of these boxes over here have $100 bills in them. One of them today has our instant cash prize of $5,000. For the cost of your lead, which is 10 bucks right now, you can get a shot at 5000 bucks, sir. Buzz in if you want to Do play it. for the instant cash. Going once. Do he it. won't. Going twice. Oh. He's going to play. Oh. You don't know me very well, then. Do you now? All right. Okay, ten. Well, ten bucks, sir. The you're in a tie now, but a chance at some money here. Which box would you like? If he gets it right here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Number one. Number one. We bring this box over here to you. Wish you the best of luck, sir. Here goes. Ah, oh, he's got a hundred dollars. That's okay. Number two. It's still more cash for you, though. So uh, let's see where the big money was. Looking in here, it was in number two. Number Ooh, two yeah. had the instant cash there. But Nels, unfortunately, you don't get it. I know. You, you didn't give up, <laughs> so. We'll, if only you were in position. <laughs> yeah. So we'll put the money back away. We'll add another thousand to it next time, making our instant cash prize worth six thousand dollars. And we now have a tie game between Jason and Cedric, both with forty, nails with fifteen. Still plenty of time left to get caught back in this one. We'll continue on after this short commercial break. Back with more sales safety right Back to your sale for six. We have a very exciting game going on between our two players here. Jason and Cedric both tied with the lead with 40. Nails a few questions back with 15. Still yeah. plenty of time for Nails to get caught up because we'll have a $25 money card coming up on the fame game yes. in just a little bit. Yes. But right now, we continue on back with this. Complete the title of this famous Gote song, The Somebody That I Used To. Nels? Somebody used to know. That is correct. There you go. Back up to 20 for you. Yeah. Well done. What is celebrated in the USA on the 2nd of February and is also the title of a favorite? Jason? Groundhog Day. 
I would have also accepted my birthday as well. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun, yes, fun. Yes, fun fact. I was born on February second. So, but you are correct though. Groundhog Day is the answer. We're looking for you up to forty-five. There. All right, players. What planet is the fifth from the sun? And Jason. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. Up to fifty. There. Got the ten dollars. Surprise! There. Surprise! Surprise! Quick hands. <laughs> and there it goes, and it works out well for him. And now what that sound means, it is time for our third and final fame game of the day. We have a $15 money card on the board. We're not adding a $25 money card. So, Nails, you were said to find need, that. You I take, need the 25 Get back in yes. this game here. Yes. We are looking for a famous person. Famous person, buzz when you think you know it. Well, I am a British author. I was born in Torquay, Devon in 1890. I'm one of the world's most popular mystery writers. In 1971, I became Dame of the British Empire. <laughs> That's Nels. Agatha Christie? That is a correct answer. Well done. Woo! Nicely done. My books have been translated into over 103 languages. Uh, my play, The Mousetrap, premiered in theaters in 1952, and I also wrote Murder on the Orient Express. Nell's uh, coming through with the big uh, fan game board that he can get right back in this game if you can find that $25 five, money baby. card. I need five. five number five, good luck. Five, and behind 25. number five, we find a prize. prize. It's two serious XM radios and one year of service. So enjoy the sounds of Sirius XM Satellite Radio in your home and car for one year, courtesy of Sale yeah. of the Century. It's a prize package worth $556. Very nice, sir. Well done. Enjoy that prize. We need to know where the other two big money cards were. Let's take a look. Let's see where they were. They were behind the number six and, and nine. nine. Of course. Of course. Well, our, awesome. our friend Mark would appreciate that so much there. Yeah. All right, so with that said, that means we now finish up with the speed round, man. Please have 60 seconds on the clock. All right, players, rapid-fire questions, of course. Uh, each one you get right is worth five. Each one that you get incorrect costs you five. Um, player in the lead at the end of the 60 seconds will go on to our sale of the century round, and their winner's board here. Remember, the clock will not start, and you cannot buzz in until I completely finish reading the first question. Good all right. luck to bo all of you. We start the speed round with this. Porky Pig ended many cartoons with the phrase, that's all. Jason. Get folks. Right. What day of the week is the Super Bowl played on? Cedric. Sunday. Right. What does May Day mean to a pilot? Cedric. We're going down. We're going down. Right. Patrick Henry is known to have said, give me liberty or give me... Jason. Dang it. Death. Right. According to the popular song, April showers bring what? Jason. Dang it. May flowers. Right. What word refers to the after effects of drinking too much alcohol? Cedric. Hungover. Right. How many? How do you complete the line, my country tis of thee, sweet land? Jason. Of uh, Liberty. Right. Chevy Chase, Eddie Murphy, and Chris Rock have all been cast members of what comedy show? Jason. Saturday Night Live. Right. Dang it. Who races against the tortoise and loses in one of Aesop's fables? Jason. Mother. Yeah. Right. Madrid is the capital of what European country? Jason. God. Damn. Right. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda Phil C Cedric. So was. So was. What sitcom is the time's up and Jason is our winner? Jason, what the fuck are you been He's I, I call shenanigans. This man's been doping. This man's doping on Speedy Gonzalez. He's doping on Wow, an impressive run through all the questions there. Not a single one wrong I can't. there. I can't. Jason has managed to win another <laughs> game. Congratulations. And it's done. Congratulations, Jace. We'll talk to you again here in just a moment. Got to say goodbye to two very good players here. Nels, uh, you won those two satellite radios. You got that year of service with it as well. Plus, we'll multiply the cash in front of you by 25. You leave us here today with just over $1,000 in cash and prizes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, Jason. Stop. <laughs> Somebody is definitely salty today more so than usual. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can taste the sodium in the studio. God damn it, Jason! Okay, <laughs> hey, some some people are quick on the buzzer. I to see say that. Yes. <laughs> All right, well done. Um, and for Cedric, you did pretty well for yourself, sir. Didn't pick up any prizes, but we'll multiply the cash in front of you by 
25 so your total for today, you leave us with $1,500 all in cash. Sir. Congratulations to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, Travis Coulter, eat your heart out. Jason Myers may have got you beat. <laughs> I don't know about that now. <laughs> uh, well done for you. 1500 bucks, and our thanks for playing. And Jason, you have managed to do it again, sir. An impressive run here prizes today you picked up the diamond ring you picked up the tv today you got twenty two hundred dollars of cash added to what you had previously you're now up to a grand total of twenty nine thousand three hundred and thirty two dollars of cash of prizes and we're going to see if we can add some more to that as he takes on uh sale the century there are no new winners board we come back right after this stay with us Welcome back to Sail the Century, Jason, our big winner of the day. Again, over $29,000 in cash and prizes. And I bet you're ready to go do some more winning on the winner's board, aren't you? Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, come on over, sir. <laughs> All right, welcome to our winner's board, sir. And now let's take a look at all the prizes you have a chance to add to your winnings here on our winner's board today. Match the prize two cards, you win yourself patio furniture and a TV. Match the prize three cards, you win yourself a sailboat. Match the Walt Disney World cards, of course you get that trip to Walt Disney World. Find the car cards today, you win yourself a Toyota Camry LE with over $24,000. Match the Jeep card, you win that Jeep Grand Cherokee with $30,000. And of course, match the five of three lot cards, you win all the prizes, plus a cash cash card of $65,000 for a total of $145,958 in prizes. Of course, as well, there's three $10,000 cash cards up on the board as well. You find those, we'll give you an additional $10,000 in bonus cash along with whatever prize that you match. So with that, let's take the sign up. Seamus? Jason, who has got to do is find the start picking numbers off the board here. The first prize, of course, that you match is the one that you're going to be taking home. Remember, if you, again, if you find uh, the three lock cards, though, you'll win all the prizes on the board, and you'll be retired for the season as a retired champion with a spot in our, in our championship game. So hopefully this plays off really well for you, sir. So let's see if you can match that trip to Walt Disney World first again. It would be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead and start picking it. Pick if it. I do that again, I'm going to Vegas <laughs> along with Walt Disney World. Well, let's see what you can do. Start picking, sir. Good luck to you. Number three. Start with his beloved tree. And behind number three, we find prize three. That's the sailboat. It's almost $10,000. Oh, oh, thank Christ. 16. Number 16. All right. Behind 16, we have... The car, that's the Toyota Camry. I'll get over $24,000. Uh, one. One, top of the charts, we find. Hey, you got the sailboat. the boat. <laughs> oh. the sailboat. Congratulations, <laughs> sir. Uh, 14 foot sailboat there, valued at, again, $9,980. And then, again, an important decision for you to make, sir. You could still sail away on that boat, add it to your winnings <laughs> here, and take that and come back on our next show, try to play for more. Or you can give that boat back to me and try to play for something else, knowing that the next prize that you match is guaranteed what you're going to get. You already have half the Toyota Camry up there on the board. You could walk away with a new car or something even better, or even all the prizes. The decision's yours to make. Take a moment to decide. We'll be back with Jason's decision right after this. Back here on Sail the Century, Jason has won himself so far a sailboat here on our winner's board. But you have a decision to make, sir. You can keep that boat or give it back and know that the next prize that you match off the board is what you're taking home. So what's your decision? Well, a boat would be good to have. I've never driven one before, nor do I have a license. So I'll give it back. <laughs> I'll give it back. All right. 
I will take that prize from you then, and then it will be up to you to decide what you want to play for. But again, remember, the next prize that you match off the board is going to be yours no matter what happens. So, Got it. let's continue on. Hopefully you find the three lot cards. Walk out of here, our first retired champion of the season. Hey, you still get the vote. <laughs> uh, nine. All right, number nine. Let's see. What... Behind number nine, we have the lot. The loot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There it is. <laughs> All right, that's one of them. There's two more you gotta find. You take mm. home everything. Fifteen. All right, number fifteen. Uh, five fifteen. What do we have behind there? Ten thousand dollars. All right. It's bonus okay. cards. Can you find two more of those? You get ten thousand dollars along with the next prize that you match. <sighs> 13. 13. Right, 13 we find. The Warren. The Warren. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well. Oh, wow. That's two lock cards, sir. One more of those. And that you've got everything. Come on, Tic Tac Toe. 17. Would we make it that oh, easy? <laughs> no, nah, I don't think again, so. Again, again, it would warm my it would warm my heart so very, very much. But let's right. see. Right down the diagonal line, seventeen. We have price two. Uh, that's uh -oh. that's uh -oh. the patio furniture and the weatherproof television. Okay. 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 Let's see. Nine. You know what's calling out to me, Jason? 9, 13, 13 minus 9, 4. Right, number 4. That's not oh what I was thinking. You're using some mathematical logic here. Let's see. Behind <laughs> number 4, we find. And you've got to sell the patio furniture on the Perk TV. You know what was calling out to me, Jason? What? 7. Very nice. Well done, sir. All right, can't show you anything else, but you take home another nice prize there. A set of beautiful outdoor uh, patio furniture along with a 46-inch LCD weatherproof television. That prize package is valued at $6,794. And when we add that to everything you've won, sir, you have a grand total now for your three days here on sale of the century, $36,126 in cash and prizes. Congratulations to you. I'll take it. <laughs> and now you get, a, you get a chance to come back and try to win yourself even more as you get one match closer every time. Eventually, you get down to only having the lock cards left on the board. Once you get there, you walk away with everything on the players, including that big cash prize bonus, sir. So hopefully we get a chance to take all that home with you. And we're going to see if you can do it, but that will have to wait till next time, folks, because we're all out of time for this episode of Sale of the Century. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, check out the first two seasons on our playlist here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe to see all the great game shows we've done, past, present, and future, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until this, the bargains come our way once again and Jason comes back for another chance at the lot, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Sale of the Century. Take care. Bye for now, folks. We had another 5000 to our jackpot for $70,000. Next time here on Sale of the Century. Thank you, no. All the prizes used on sale of the century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as their time would take. This is Michael Vincent speaking.
Sales of the Century is an MGG production.